Hey guys, John Sharps here from the gun bench, holding in my hands a Ruger American short action. This one's in 308. It is their Predator model um, with a box magazine. I'm going to show you in this video today how easy it is to take a rifle like this and upgrade it with our heat seeker chassis. First up, I've got some soft jaws in my vise. I'm going to lock the rifle in to the vise so that I can work from it. Ruger has got two action screws come out quite easily. These are just a, this is just a 3 16th, yeah, 3 16th wrench. So two, two screws, get them loose. And with that, the stock comes off of the barreled action. So now we have, actually I'll set this over here. Now we've got the barreled action ready to be upgraded with Heat Seeker. Heat Seeker comes packaged just like this. I'll show you what we got inside. Um, besides the stickers, the first thing you'll notice is sort of an Ikea-like assembly drawing. I'm not going to show you that any, in any more detail because I'm about to walk you through it. So inside the chassis, or inside the packaging, we have a chassis body and a hand guard and then a bag of parts. That is all we need to get this build going. Inside the bag of parts, we have a few different things. We've got two steel lugs. So I'm actually going to set those here for now. The Ruger American stock has steel lugs as well, but they're molded into the stock. Uh, so we had to create our own lugs for you to use when mounting the heat seeker chassis. So it comes with two steel lugs. It comes with a little set screw, helps lock the uh, stock in our own action screws and a couple of screws for a hand guard. And then lastly, it comes with a little ball Allen wrench. I'll show you what all these parts, how they all come together. So first up, I put the two steel lugs in place of the old lugs. Take out our chassis. These are just beautifully done. Uh, we've got Cerakoted out of Orem, Utah who is giving these a matte black finish for us and uh, just beautiful work. I think you're gonna be really happy with them. So line up the lugs, drop it over, and you're getting close already. So provided the two action screws, first one I'll just get in, we're just gonna get it snug. Now, the second action screw, because we're taking this rifle from a Predator that was a box mag to a Magpul AICS or Accuracy International AICS magazine fed weapon, the where they have the second action screw is right underneath the mag release. So that's why we included this Ball Allen wrench, which will allow you to get in at that action screw at an angle. Really, I didn't want you to have to remove this mag lever because it's under a decent amount of tension and it can be a real bitch to get in and out of there. So you can assemble this really just um, by taking this magazine lever and pushing it forward, which will create enough room for the rear action screw to pop into its hole. Then this uh, ball allen allows you to come in at an angle. I'm just making this snug for now. Okay, so both these action screws need to be tightened to around 55 inch pounds. So I've got my torque wrench already set it to 55. I'm going to get the front one until you hear it pop over. And then again, with this one, you're sliding the magazine lever forward. You can get that ball allen in there. And turn it over at 55. And now you have the chassis body mounted to the barreled action. 
gets a lot easier from here. You're, you're damn near done. Uh, next thing I would say, take an AR-15 stock of your choice. And we're going to thread this guy in, same as you would with an AR-15, except you don't need the uh, whole buffer assembly. Just going to get this guy on here as far as she'll go, and then back it out and line her up. To ensure that this thing stays where it's supposed to, we include a little set screw in the bag of parts that you can lock in with a little heck, uh, 1 16th inch hex. Got the stock lined up well. Just really give this some meat. And then later we can put an actual barrel wrench on this nut and lock that guy in. So say do the stock first so that you have good access to that rear set screw. Then we can take any AR-15 style grip. Here I've just got a, a lightweight Magpul grip. And let me find the... Stalls pretty easily, just like a regular, regular chassis regular AR-15. Now we're going to take this whole system out of the jaws. Take the handguard. The handguard slides over the top and at first is just a friction fit or a friction interface fit. It's nice and snug. And then we've got two screws here to lock. Mount this back up. Just on the ends. Two screws that we can use to lock in the handguard. And then we're going to be done. These are just 332nd. All right, believe it or not, that is it. So now, I've totally transformed. Let me get this uh, bolt back. Transform that Ruger American Short Action Predator model into a box or into a magazine fed. Very nice heat seeker build. These are on sale now. Um, I'll put this video up on YouTube for anyone that wants to review how to build it, but really the point is you can build it without really any gunsmithing skills. It turns out very beautifully, and I think you guys are going to dig these. Check them out. Let me know what you think.